cheaper and reliable coins, make sure you check out cheaputcoins.com in the link down below and use JMX to check out to get 5% off all your purchases. Also made it service now so you get your coins in seconds. What is going on guys, it's Joel here and welcome to a different video today where we're going to be looking at potential transfers for FIFA 15. So we're going to be looking at players who might be moving club and have a different club in FIFA 15 compared to what they have in FIFA 14. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you do smash a like button, that would be freaking awesome. And your support recently has been amazing, so I want to say a massive thank you there. I don't know how I can thank you guys properly, but it has been amazing and I just want to say thanks for that. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that, that would be uh, sick. And first thing I want you guys to tell me, who do you want your club to sign? So you might, or who do you want to sign for who? You might just want, I don't know, you might want Benteke to sign for Bayern Munich. Just so you can have Aubameyang and Benteke up front. Uh, that was just a random example. I'm not saying it's ever going to happen. But yeah, I want you to tell me who you want to sign, who your club wants to sign, or who you just want to go anywhere. Whatever, just let me know down below. Alright, so first up we have Mario Balotelli. Now he is linked to Arsenal and there's quite a lot of rumours going around about this. The value of the transfer is around about 25 million apparently, but I think they have to pay more than that. I think it was more than 25 million, but I've just put 25 million I can't really find an exact number. And yeah, he played 34 games last season for AC Milan and scored 17 goals and got 6 assists, which is not bad at all. Um, I think Giroud got something similar, which was you know, you you look at that and you think, why would they want to pay more for Balotelli than Giroud if they got sort of the same sort of stats? But in my opinion, Balotelli is a much better player, and if he had the support and the assists, like the um, you know, support of Ertzel assisting him, etc., he'd do a lot better and score more goals than Giroud would, in my opinion. So I think this would be a great signing for Arsenal because obviously they definitely need a striker, and it's pretty much like one of the most crucial things they need at the moment. And also, I think there's something to do with Puma, because Puma sponsor Arsenal and Balotelli, and I want to bring them together and be friends, and yeah, so that, that, that would be a great transfer for Arsenal if it did go through. And we'd have Balotelli back in the Premier League, which would be awesome, and maybe a four-star skills, because he's four-star skills on the World Cup demo, so on the World Cup game, sorry, that means he could be on the 15. Next up, we have Jaden Shakiri. I want to stress quickly, I have just kept the ratings the same, I don't want to mess with the ratings, I do do potential ratings, so you haven't seen them check them out but I'm going to save some of the players in here to do um, actual upgrade like my predictions on what they're going to be so if you're like oh my god why haven't you changed the ratings he's had an amazing season etc etc I just haven't changed anyone's rating just kept them the same pretty much so yeah Shakiri linked to Liverpool for around about 20 million he's got nine goals and two assists in 13 starts but he pretty much mainly plays as a sub for Bayern Munich at the moment scored a hat-trick in the World Cup the other day which was pretty sick and one of his goals was outstanding. So I think he'd be a good signing for Liverpool on the right side. I don't know how it would work because they've still got Sterling and stuff like that. But I'm sure they'd fit him in sometime. So, and he can actually play down the centre. I think he scored his hat-trick down the centre for Switzerland. So yeah, he is linked to Liverpool. And yeah, that would be a pretty cool card to use in the BPL. Next we have Marquinhos. Now he completely contradicts what I just said. I based Marquinhos off his inform card because he had a non-rare card and I don't have the non-rare version of the FIFA 15 card like the, the thing so that I could do it so I couldn't do that I just did it off his inform card and I think he will get an upgrade obviously because he if he moves to Barcelona but apparently he has actually been really good this season so he's linked to Barcelona apparently he's going to be a great centre back in the future like he's the next Thiago Silva I'm just reading through what I've heard and what people say etc etc but yeah he's linked to Barcelona about 30 million which is crazy I didn't think he was that good or that worth that much but if David Luiz is worth 50 million then I'm worth about 20 million so <laughs> Yeah, I see it's justified. Apparently, there could be a possible swap deal with Danny Alves going to PSG and Marquinhos going to Barcelona. And I'm not sure whether this transfer is going to go through, but it could. And yeah, if Danny Alves did go the other way, that defence with Thiago Silva, David Luiz and Danny Alves, all perfect links, would be incredible. Next, we have King Arturo Vidal. Now, playing for Juventus at the moment, and he's been heavily linked with quite a few clubs. But the main ones are Manchester United and Arsenal, as you can see the two cards there. 86 trailer kept in the same, obviously, but he had 41 appearances last year, 18 goals and 5 assists for a Selimid is really, really good, and he is one of the best midfielders in the world at the moment. He played against he played against Brazil last night in the World Cup, only played 85 minutes, I think he's recovering from an injury, but he was good in that, and he's exactly what Man United need. I don't know Arsenal necessarily really need a defensive midfielder or a centre midfielder, they've got so many good midfielders, but still... 
He's worth a lot, 40 million, and I'm not sure if he's actually going to move, but if we did get him, that'd be amazing, and he would obviously be an awesome card to see in the BPL. Finally, we have the main man, David Moyes. Now, he's actually linked to going to Galatasaray, and I know he's not actually a player, but I thought I'd just do this. Tell you guys for the lols, he's 99 rated, obviously, because he's a beast. And yeah, so, didn't quite work out on Man United, but I'm... Wish him all the best for Galatasaray, and yeah, he's getting a fair bit of dollar. I think he's getting like four million in a year, so Moyes is racking it in, so you may be laughing at how shit he is, and he's laughing at how you don't earn four million, so I think the winner here is Moyes, but yeah, that's the end of this episode of this transfer scene. You want to see more? Smash a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching, and see you guys next time. Also, check the video on the screen, and yeah, that's my yesterday's video, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.